Thank you for joining me in our first of many uh, beginner yoga classes. And we're going to be spending some time just basically learning um, our postures, our form, modifications if you need them. Um, so today, since it's our first series, we're going to work on the major basics, which would be, of course, our breathing. Please remember that yoga is not just about flexibility. It actually isn't about flexibility really at all, okay? So we're gonna start a nice comfortable seat and we're gonna work on our breath. Connecting our mind, our body, and our breath together is part of our yoga and really just being in tune with yourself. So that's yoga. You could be out on the beach walking and you're doing yoga. So let's place our hands in heart center. And I want you to remember that yoga isn't necessarily a religion, it's a science, right? So I want you to think of your body as your science. We're going to start with some breathing. So let's start by relaxing and maybe you did a class before and maybe you just rolled out of bed or maybe you're coming here from work. Just completely slow your breath down. Connect your breath to your mind. And we call the middle of our forehead right between those eyebrows our third eye center. So I want you to send your focus right there almost like you're looking into your forehead and think of that as your sense of concentration and your creativity. Don't be shy. Don't worry what anyone thinks of what you're doing. And just slow your breath down. Feel that breath. Maybe your chest rises a little. Maybe you feel your belly expand. We're going to start working on our ujjayi breath here. So for a moment, just take your hand, place it right in front of your mouth. And this is just for now to learn. As you inhale, we're going to inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, we're going to exhale out our nostrils, or maybe if you're a mouth breather, you open your mouth just a tiny bit and lighten the lips. And you're breathing right from the deep of your throat and your chest. And feel that heat. Inhale as deep as you can. Hold at the top, and as you exhale, imagine that fog. If you're ever feeling stressed and you just need a moment, you can do this. Connecting your breath to your mind and exhaling out any of that stress, any of that doubt. Feel free to inhale some curiosity. And then exhale out any worry. Now if you'd like, you can place those hands back in heart center. Or maybe you want to place your hands on your thighs up or down. Find those sit bones. Sit nice and tall. Let's do one more ujjayi breath. Make it loud. So we're going to call that audible. Inhale. Feel your chest expand. Keep that belly full as you exhale. Just like Darth Vader. Go ahead and open those eyes if they're closed. Inhale. Reach your arms up nice and tall. Exhale. Hands in heart center. So let's do that a few times. Really press your palms together. Feel the energy. That circle. Press it in. So we'll work on that breath as we go. That was your ujjayi breath. We're going to go ahead and flip those legs around, and we're going to go into our first tabletop. So our tabletop here, hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are under the hips. Now, if this bothers your wrist, it's okay to have your hands a little bit further forward, all right? So the weight is more on the heel of your palm instead of the whole palm. So you choose. We're going to start with our cat here. So think of a cat when they get scared, right? But we're not scared. We're just ready to take on our adventures. Dome your body. So imagine, here if I tighten this a little bit, you can see, is we want to draw our belly button through the back. Take your shoulder blades around them away from your rib cage, and then just rest your head. Relax it. Let it hang heavy. Really imagine not just your upper back, but your lower back rounding. And as you exhale, we're going to do our first cow. Our first cow. So we're going to drop the belly. Lengthen your spine forward, point your tailbone up. So think of that arch in your back. Now, if you feel your shoulders, I want you to push away from your palm and extend your chin and chest forward. Now, this is your cat. So let's slowly, if you want to shift back a tiny bit, you can round and do that to lighten and then round and roll back. Maybe you point those um, fingertips a little further forward and draw your elbows in towards your shins. Really round and dome that back and shake it out. We're going nice and slow today, working on our form. Feel your rib cage connect. Inhale, drop the belly into our cow. Draw that chin and chest forward. Take your shoulder blades and imagine pressing them into your rib cage. 
So press them into your hips. Point that tailbone up. Inhale, let's slide ourselves slightly back just to round that back. Inhale. Now, if you'd like, you're welcome to be creative, right? You can rock back and forth. So there's no real right or wrong, or you don't have to stay still. All right, right now we're just working on our form. Exhale, drop your belly. Notice that Ujjayi breath as we exhale. So when you inhale, we extend. When we exhale, and then round one more cat. Really open up. Imagine those shoulder blades like wings. And as you open your wings away from your rib cage, let your head hang heavy. Drop the belly last. Good. Neutral spine. So neutral spine, just flat back. Extend your hands. We're going to work on our downward dog next. Curl your toes. We're going to shift our weight back. Keep your knees bent for now. And let's look at our hands for a second. Hands are facing forward. Elbows are turned in. So if you feel yourself leaning into your hands here, shift your weight back. Kind of open up those fingertips. Now, imagine like you are opening up two jars. So we're going to push our palms in and then slightly out, turning your elbows in towards your knees. Let your head hang heavy. Think of yourself as a little triangle. Maybe you're bent in that one angle where the knees are. Shift your weight towards your heels. It's okay if your heels don't touch. Now, if you want, you can pedal your heels. So pedaling the heels, feel the back of the knee. If you feel your weight in your wrist, shift your weight further back. Now keep in mind, this is beginner yoga. If you don't like downward dog, you can go into a child's pose. So here is a child's pose. Open the knees, sit yourself back. You can have your elbows bent if that bothers your shoulders. So either way, and today we're working on our downward dog, but please feel free. Now we're going to look at our hands and walk your feet to the front of your mat. And then just bend the knees, rest your belly on your thighs, and this is called a ragdoll. We're going to work on warrior one and warrior two, and then we'll come back to our downward dog. Bend your knees. We're going to ragdoll ourselves up. Use your hands to round and roll up, belly button in. Take a deep breath, reach your arms up, mountain pose. And we're going to come back to that in another series. Just arms up, pinkies in, hands in heart center. Good, take a nice deep breath. So let's do warrior two. We're not going to get into it any fancy way. We're going to actually just step our right leg back and open up. So that back leg is at 90 degrees. Your left knee is pointing forward. And then open those hips. So if you feel your back arch, tilt your pelvis in as if your chin, your chest, your shoulders, everything are stacked, and dig into your heel. Okay? So if you feel like you're really close and you're leaning, let's open those feet up a little wider and extend. Now, feel that stretch of the hips. So I really want you to point. And we're going to open our arms straight out. Think of them like an arrow. Reach. And I want you to look forward. Shoulders are still stacked on top. Look forward. And in my mind, I like to think, okay, this is my past. This is my future. And I'm a strong warrior, right? This is what made me the warrior. The past, I am now moving on. Right? And I'm going to look through my fingertips to my future. Really extend. Just take a breath. Hold it here. Feel that heat? Yeah. So we're working. So this is warrior two. We're going to go into warrior one. So we're only going to work warrior one, warrior two today. We're going to turn that back foot 90 degrees. Now another good tip is your heel should be in line with the middle of your foot here too. So some yoga mats actually have lines in the middle. It's a great tip or a tool. All right, so we're going to open up the hips. Now notice that stretch go right through that hip flexor. Option to reach your arms up, turn your pinkies in, drop your shoulder. Now you can be here. This is still warrior one. Arms up is warrior one. Feel that stretch of the hip. Now it's important that we turn those hips forward and reach. Bend the knee. Feel that stretch all the way and feel that heat, that fire as we hold our poses, challenging your mind and your body as we hold. Press the entire back foot into the earth. Take a slow deep breath. Now to come out of this today only, we're going to step in, use your hand on your thigh, turn your back foot, and just step in. Inhale, reach up nice and tall. Hands and heart center. Take a breath. I'm going to face the other way so I'm not turning my back towards you, um, but you stay right where you're at. Inhale, reach up nice and tall, back to your mountain pose, hands and heart center. We're going to step the left leg back. So let's step our left leg back. We're going into warrior two first. 
So the leg is 90 degrees. Your heel and the middle of your foot are in line. All right, and if that's too hard to tell, you'll know if you're working on your balance, you may want to stagger a little bit, right? So the more in line we are, the more balance we work. Let's reach those arms, looking to the fore, and then bend the knee. Now the knee is over your heel. Really point that knee forward, tilt your pelvis, okay? So when I first started, I just want to show you these things because they're good tips, is I, I have a tendency to arch my back. So I have to really focus on tilting that pelvis in, if you can see. So we don't want to pop our booty out. We want to tilt it and open. And this is what a warrior looks like. So if you were to look at a mirror, can you see that back arm? We don't want to see that back arm. Okay, so that is our warrior two. Let's go to warrior one. Turn your back foot 45 degrees. Open up the hips. Everything faces forward. Option to have your arms in. Let's dig into that heel a little bit deeper. Good. Now, the notice the more we bend in, the deeper the stretch that hip. So, are we getting a stretch? Or are we working on our flexibility? Absolutely. Are we working on our strength? Absolutely. Take a slow, deep breath. Now, to come out of this, hands on your hip. Turn that back foot. We're going to step in. Inhale, reach up nice and tall. Can you feel that heart rate a little bit from that isolation? Hands and heart center. All right, before we do that again, let's slowly come down, bend the knees, and go into your forward fold. Soften your knees. Bend the knees. This is your rag doll. Feel that stretch of that low back. We're going to go through that warrior two and warrior one one more time. Come back to our downward dog and finish off. Slowly round and roll up. Inhale, reach up nice and tall, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's step that right leg back to our warrior two. So we're going through this one more time. Bend the knee. Now, maybe you step back and your leg is here and you got to work your way back. That's okay. Okay? It doesn't have to be super smooth transitions. Just comfortable tilt the pelvis. Yes, I have to remind myself all the time. Okay? Even after 10 years of yoga, I still have to remind myself to tilt in this position. So we're always learning, always growing. Good. Stack the shoulders. Take a breath. Really press that back foot and front foot so we're not just leaning into one. Inhale, warrior two, turn that, or one, turn that back foot, turn your hips to the front of your mat, option, arms in. Now, little tip, if you turn your pinkies in, you can drop your shoulders. So we don't want to extend and squeeze your shoulders, right? We want to drop. And you can have your hands here, that way you can relax a little bit more. Feel that stretch. Good, hand on the hip, or on the thigh. Turn and step in. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. I'm just switching so you're not looking at my back. Left leg swings back to your warrior two, bend in. Now maybe you get here and you want to wiggle and adjust. Tilt the pelvis. Weight is on the heel. Weight is on the entire foot. Arms straight out. Stack the shoulders. Good. Dig deep into it. Really open those hips. Extend. I'm going to look through your middle finger into your future. Reach it. See those goals. Inhale, warrior one. So we're gonna turn that back foot 45. Maybe you step your foot in a little bit, but make sure that knee doesn't come over the toes. So turn your hips to the front of your mat. Option, arms up or down. Good. Let's dig into the heel a little bit more. Really press that back foot down. Take a breath. Inhale, hands down. Turn the back foot, step into your front foot. Open mountain pose. Hold your mountain pose for a second. So mountain pose, nice and strong. Elbows are out, pinkies are in. Drop the shoulders, draw your belly button in. Hands to heart center, slowly ragdoll yourself down, bend the knees. Hold your ragdoll one more time. So we rest our belly, let your head hang heavy. Take a breath. Woo! All right, so we're gonna do our downward dog one more time as a rephrase. Step your feet back into a plank. Now the distance of your hands and feet are the same in a plank as they are in a downward dog. Maybe you adjust your toes a little, that's fine. Shift your way back. Now notice how much more flexible you are from the first time you did this. Fingertips are facing forward. Maybe you look forward just to check. Shift your weight. Turn your elbows in towards your knees. You can soften your knees if you need to. You can pedal slow or fast. We're just working on our form. You should not feel this through your wrists or your shoulders. You should feel this lengthen through the hamstrings as you point your tailbone up. Think of your body as a big triangle. Very slowly drop down into your tabletop. Back to our review. Hold it, knees, 
and shoulders round the back into your cat. Take a breath. Exhale, drop your belly. Extend your chin and chest forward into our cow. Take your shoulder blades, press them back. Review right here. Beautiful job. Inhale, neutral spine. Take a slow, deep breath. What we're gonna do is cross our legs and just swing yourself around onto your booty and take it to the front of your mat. I hope you feel amazing. Take your time, we're gonna slowly roll down. So you can either use your arms or not. Just take your time, one vertebrae at a time. Bringing the knees into the chest. We're going to finish off with happy baby. So our last one here is going to be happy baby. Take a breath. Bottoms of the feet are going to go to the sky. Now, this again, this is not about flexibility. So this is happy baby. You can grab the back of your thighs, bring your knees into the outside of your rib cage like they're going into the armpits. Or you can hold your shins, your ankles, or maybe the outside insides of your feet. So you choose where you want to be. Now, notice how your shoulders come up. I want you to press your shoulder blades into the earth. I'm going to press your tailbone into the earth. So maybe your legs come a little further up or a little further back. That's fine. So adjust where your hands are. You can be here. Now, if you had a strap or um, a tie or a towel, you can take towels and press them down. And I'll show you those along the way. So we go. Each week, we will go over some of our practices and then learn new poses. So if you ever have questions or want a specific pose that you're not super sure of, we can go over that. So this is our happy baby. Now, happy babies, they wiggle too, right? So I'm just gonna sit away from my wall a little bit. And maybe you wiggle, you kick it, a little ninja kick. Yeah, or maybe both out, right? So feel free to be creative with your body. And when you're ready, hug your knees into your chest. Take a breath. Hug your chest into your knees. Squeeze that neck just enough where we're giving that thyroid a quick little massage. And then slowly come down. So yoga is also about our organs, right? Drop those legs down. Extend them all the way out. Open through the hips. Arms up over the head. Imagine drawing your heels as far to the edge of your mat and then your hands the other direction. Really lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring your arms to your side. So everyone's favorite is Savasana, or Shavasana, however you want to say it. Have your palms up, or maybe on your belly, in your chest, or on your chest, wherever you choose. And just take a moment to be still. Slowing that heart rate down, slowing that breath down, connect your breath to your mind. Go back to that third eye center. So if you don't have much time, this is perfect. This is a way to recover not just your body, the muscles, your breath, but also your nervous system, your organs, everything, your whole body. You're welcome to stay in Savasana as long as you like. We're gonna roll over onto one side. You choose what side, take your bottom arm and just use it as a pillow. Take your top arm as an anchor. Now again, if you have any questions about any postures, please feel free to message me. Um, and even the ones we did today, if you need a little bit more explanation, we'll continue with this series each Wednesday or every Wednesday at 9.15 Pacific Standard Time. Take a breath. And then slowly push yourselves up. And if you have any questions or you want to further your practice, please feel free to message me. I will put a link in the um, comments and the series uh, with a link to our membership so you can further your practice. The light me honors the light in you. Namaste. Hi, if you like this video, click the link below or in the pinned comments and we'll send you two members only videos, one stretch class and one hit cardio yoga class that will make you feel strong, confident and ready to take on the world. So just click that link, put your name, your email and you'll get full access to both classes. Now, if you like our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, comment and like all our classes that you've been taking so we can keep giving you more. We look forward to seeing you in our next Sweat Fit Fam class. Have a great day.
great day.